Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zarks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over this Superstar MVP promo. I've seen a lot of comments recently about people wanting me to go over promos we already know are coming. So Superstar MVP is one we know. Also Ultimate Kickoff. We already saw like the pack animation for that and everything. So I probably will make a separate video going over the Ultimate Kickoff promo when it comes time for that. That's actually a couple of weeks away, but Super Strong DPs, we know they are coming on the 20th with the release of the game. Now, will it be at midnight on the 19th at midnight, basically, so when it turns to the 20th Eastern time, or will it be during the day? That I don't know, but I'm guessing it's going to be midnight, honestly, so we'll see. But we do know quite a bit about the promo. We already know that it's actually going to be a two-part promo, so I'm guessing that the first batch is going to be, of course, you know, this Friday, the 20th, when the game officially drops, and then next Friday, maybe, will be the next part. Maybe they'll announce, you know, when that next part's going to come in. My guess is probably Friday, and then, boom, next Friday, they'll drop the rest of the players. But we already know a lot of the players, a little bit of more info about it as well, so I'll touch on all the stuff we already know, go over the players and like that, and then kind of give you guys maybe some predictions on stuff we could see, and also I'm going to hop back on over to Madden 21 and show you like sets and stuff we had last year so what we can kind of expect to be there where you get power ups or cards solo challenges everything like that now, i do want to give a shout out to speed edits hd for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn notification bell on and comment down below noti gang also if you guys are made it for an xbox series s i am giving one away right now if you guys made it for that drop a like in the vid make sure you sub to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below the secret word on every single video that i've been posting guys because on august 25th Fifth, I'm gonna go through and select a random video that I post from August 12th to August 25th and pick a winner based on whatever video I select. So if you guys made it for that, comment down below in this video, Superstar. So comment down below, Superstar, and leave a way to contact you up for Twitter or Instagram. If you don't leave a way to contact you, you won't win. All right, so let's go over what we already know about the Superstar promo. Now, this is actually from, like, the release of the game. They did, like, a stream before the release to showcase a lot of stuff. So we already know about the Superstar promo. It's been in Madden for years, but if you guys are new, the players automatically have abilities on them and x factors so you don't have to go spend training on abilities they just automatically come with them and no you can't change the abilities on them you could power them up to change the abilities but then if you power a player up then they don't automatically have the abilities on them so take that as it is as you guys can see russell wilson we know is one of the players that are going to have an 89 overall card we do not know though his stats or what abilities he gets you guys can see right there though uh, looks like he does actually have, I believe that's Roaming Deadeye, I want to say right there. Now, you can see as well here, beat Superstar Champion Challenges. There will be some challenges, and each Champion Challenge sequence you will beat will award one 80 to 84 overall lead Superstar player, which would be NAT. There also are some other challenges you guys see. Play limited time challenges for the end, earn a 74 to 84 overall player for each sequence. Then we have Superstar Heroes and Superstar Champions. So the Heroes check out the 86 overall heroes and then the champions you can see you'll need 386s and 183 to 84 overall elite superstar to complete a champions set now for the pictures in there okay the one to the right is definitely russell wilson because he blew right and the one on the left is orange i have been saying this since we actually saw this the first time i would like to bet that's von miller I have been saying that what other player could that potentially be? If it's one offense and one defensive player, what other player on the Broncos could that potentially be? Because that is very obviously Broncos. I mean, it could be Bradley Chubb or Justin Simmons, but Simmons is already like an 86, I want to say. And I believe Von Miller uh, is only an 85 overall. Could be Bradley Chubb. But really, I I think it's got to be Vaughn. I think it just makes sense. Now, some of the other cards that we know are already in here are Terry McLaurin. You guys can see 88 speed, 85 catching. He does have Matchup Nightmare and Comeback on him. 78 catch traffic, 84 deep route running on him. Marlon Humphrey is getting an 89 overall with 87 speed and 88 acceleration, 89 man, 84 zone, 88 press. Definitely looks like a pretty good card. 
to be honest, looks really good. Uh, we know Saquon Barkley, which I'm very excited for this card, taking a look at all the other fast running backs currently in the game. Saquon Barkley, I'm probably going to pick up. He's got 88 speed, 80 to excel, 89 agility, 86 carrying, 87 break tackle, and 88 change of direction with 80 trucking and 73 catching. Definitely looks great. Now, at a later point, though, they did actually show us this card as well. So we know that Michael Thomas is another 89 overall with 85 speed, 87 jumping, 87 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 86 spec catch, 86 short, 86 medium, and 81 deep route running. So confirmed, we know of Michael Thomas, he's going to be an 89. Russell Wilson looks like he as well would be an 89 overall. Uh, other offensive players, we know of Terry McLaurin, who's an 86, but speaking just of 89s, Saquon Barkley, and then you guys saw Marlon Humphrey is an 89. So if that was actually correct, you guys can see right here, it does say activities completed zero of eight so the activities in here right is that telling us there's gonna be eight of these 89 overall heroes because that would be four for offense and four for defense right and we already know of three 89 overalls for offense with michael thomas saquon and russell wilson so there looks to be anyways i mean it could be different it could just say activities completed and there's like different activities when you click on that but I'm guessing that those are all of the sets there, and there's an activity for completing each player's set, potentially. I know that last year we only had two offense and two defensive 89 overalls, but we already know of three offensive 89s. So is there a fourth, and then there's three more defensive 89s we don't know about? Let's say that I am correct, and that's Von Miller. And I mean Von Miller and Marlon Humphrey, which means that we probably are going to get a defensive lineman of some sort and then a safety and then offensively we have a running back we have a wide receiver and a qb so it could be an o-lineman or it could be a tight end it could be a really good tight end maybe like uh darren waller so now i'm back over on madden 21 guys because i wanted to showcase for you guys the sets that we actually got last year now you can see for some of the players that we got again this year it's a two-part promo they already said that it's going to be a two-part promo i don't know when the second part is necessarily going to release probably the next friday uh so you guys can see right here last year we had lamar jackson to get lamar jackson you had to add in these four lower overall cards and then you got lamar jackson and his power up so just keep that in mind in case you're trying to make some investments whatever we did get their power ups last year doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be uh in this set this year who knows and then you got your choice of two of the required players now it does say here these heroes are not auctionable or tradable and cannot be used to complete master sets when you put in these four players you got to pick two of them back and make them nat and you couldn't add them to other sets because that would have been uh pretty pretty sweet if you could do that but not gonna allow that we have lamar jackson honey badger zeke miles garrett tyler lockett as some of the lower overall guys with 86 overall lockett dravius white mike mcglinchey uh we also had preston smith joe tooney of course DeForest Buckner, Frank Ragno, and Minka Fitzpatrick. So those are the sets. You did get the power-ups. You got the players. Uh, and I believe as well, I'm trying to remember, there was LTDs. We had LTD Julio as well. And when it came to the solos over here, you guys can see they did actually give us some pretty decent stuff. You know, 76, 78, whatever. But right there at 135 stars, you get an NAT, 85 to 86 overall superstar MVP. And then a bunch more of NATs. So you got a, a lot of free cards, pretty much. 85 to 86 NAT from the solos. There also was this one, which was a daily. That is everything that we know currently about the Superstar MVP promo. And also what we got last year in terms of sets and everything. Now, I did mention in there, right? We got a QB. We got a wide receiver. We got a running back. Would we get an offensive lineman? Would they kind of throw it off there and, you know, give us an alignment? Or will it be a tight end? Because if it's a tight end, I think Waller makes sense being an 85 overall because I've said this now for like the past, what, two weeks? Or maybe three weeks, whatever, when that reveal was. I feel like that's Von Miller. What other orange player could it be? It just makes sense to be Von Miller. Von Miller, Khalil Mack, two players that tend to get upgrades pretty early in the year. It would make sense that is Von there. It could be a tight end, and if it was one, I would say it would probably be Waller, but it also could be an offensive lineman of sorts. So I'm not saying confirmed it's tight end. I don't know. I think it, I, I feel like it's probably going to be an O-lineman. No one EA. And then on the defensive side of things, like I said, if that is Von Miller, so that'd be an outside linebacker pass rusher. We know of Marlon Humphrey, who's a corner. Who else could we get? There's a lot of good safeties that I feel like would make sense. Derwin James is one that pops in my head potentially. Uh, Derwin, I feel like, would be a really, really good superstar player. Maybe he's not even actually an 89, though, because Derwin, I think, has 82. I want to say Derwin James has an 82 overall, I believe. 
Uh, if we take a look here, he's a, he's a strong safety. He is not a free safety on the Chargers. He is, of course, a strong safety here. Yeah, he's an 82. So it is possible that Derwin, being an 82 overall, right, would end up being an undercard. So like an 86 overall instead of an 89. Whereas some of the 89 overalls, like I said, we already know of Russell Wilson, right? He's already been shown. We haven't seen his stats, haven't seen his 89 overall card. But we know that Russell Wilson is in the promo. So you have to assume that he's going to be 89 because it basically is an 85 so maybe if it's like 85 overall or better they would get an 89 maybe there's even some lower guys though that they'll just throw into 89s because they really think they need an upgrade whatever and the lower than that would be like an 86 i'm guessing it would have to be like 83 overall or lower for them to be an 86 overall because obviously if they're an 83 powered up to 84 already they want to have a little jump there so you guys let me know down below what do you think about this what players do you think we potentially get will you guys be investing as i showed you the sets last year did have power-ups right so if they had power-ups in the sets who knows what would happen with the power-up prices of someone like russell wilson he's currently going for 1500 coins 1500 coins though i'm gonna buy that one i feel like that's really, really cheap even if when the set comes out and if the russell wilson card is actually really really good I don't think his power up's gonna be 1500 coins but it comes down to how expensive the set is to do how many people are gonna do the set how many people are gonna keep russell wilson we'll just have to see about that but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on it and of course hit that sub button down below as i said we already know about ultimate kickoff i'll cover that in a separate video hopefully you guys enjoyed see you guys next time